right, so this is 23 questions with Kaylee Karras. <laughs> um, so how has foreign contributed to your success? Um, well, they've been really supportive, you know. I, I had to miss some school along with just like not being here in general and they've been really helpful with allowing me to come back and have some assignments that like the little picky assignments they've taken off and they've really been helpful with me being able to get my work done and and really congratulating me for what I've done. Um, what emotions were you feeling when they announced you as the winner of Miss Teen USA? Well, you know, I always say I went blank because uh, you get such this adrenaline rush. And so you could see in my crowning video, I actually turned my head and I yell mom because she has been my number one supporter and she's been really helpful to getting me to where I am. Did you expect this kind of success when you first started doing pageants? Uh, no, when I first started pageants, I started because I saw my sister doing it. So I wanted to be able to accomplish the same thing she did. And so I never even thought this grand scheme of things could happen to me, especially. And as I grew up, it, I made it my goal to win one of these higher titles. And finally, my goal came to fruition. How old is your sister? My sister, I have two, they're 26. They're twins. Did they both do pageants? <laughs> no, only one of them. And the one who did do pageants, she's more of a tomboy, so pageants weren't really her thing. Um, what are your plans for after high school? Uh, I plan to attend Southern Connecticut State University, and uh, I'm majoring in nursing. Uh, are you going to LA? Oh, actually, next week I'm going to LA. I'm actually going to record a new uh, talk show, TV show with RuPaul. So that's exciting. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, how has it been coming back to school? Um, it's been really exciting. I wasn't expecting um, a lot of people to know what's going on, but then I realized that they showed my crowning video uh, on the morning news, and all the teachers have been so helpful, so it's really been amazing. Uh, what do you like to do in your spare time? Oh, I'm a competitive dancer, so I love dancing. It's my senior year, so this is my last year competing, but it's something I really enjoy doing, and it keeps me um, going and fit. And then I also love hanging out with my friends. It's We just always drive around, listen to music really, really loudly, so that's a lot of fun. Um, what is the best part about doing pageants? Ooh, the best part, I would say the confidence it gives you. When I was younger, I wasn't always the one to start a conversation or to go up to people and start talking to them. And through pageantry, I've gained that confidence within myself to start a conversation. What did you do for the talent portion of the pageant? So actually at Miss USA, there is no talent portion. But if I were to do talent, I would do a contemporary solo because that's my favorite type of dance. Uh... Do you have any advice for kids that want to start doing pageants? I would just say, go for it. You know, you're not gonna have this chance another time in your life when you're older, because a lot of the pageants nowadays are specifically for the youth and young adults. So I'd say go for it, but make sure you're yourself, because you can compare yourself to the other girls there, but you can only be you. So really just stick to who you are. Do you still make tutus? <laughs> yeah. So I used to make tutus in all of elementary school and I wore them every single day. Unfortunately, no, I don't make tutus, but I do know how to still make them. So if anybody wants a tutu, you know where to call. Do you have any pets? No, I had, I had a little doggy. I had a Chorky. He was so cute, but just due to some circumstances, I wasn't able to take care of him as much as I wanted to, so I actually gave him to one of my best dance friends, and now I can visit him whenever I want. Um, what's your necklace? My necklace? Okay, so I've had this since I was five years old, and so it has a bunch of little charms on it. And they all have their own specific memory. Um, people will give them to me if I'm going away and they want me to remember them anyway. And um, my three favorite are these three at the end. And so they're my sister's birthstones and mine. And um, when my grandmother passed away, we found a brooch that said grandma and it had these three charms on it. So I got to keep them. Who are your role models? Ooh, my role models, definitely my mom. 
she's a very powerful woman and she sticks to what she believes in. And also, for a famous person, I'd say Zendaya, because she's a person of color as well and she really sticks true to who she is and she doesn't let any false images of herself out into the world. So I really look up to that. What's your favorite class in school? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't want to give any bias. I'd say my favorite class would be humanities. For one thing, we get two credits from it, but also it's a student-driven class, so we're really able to guide the curriculum and really get to do what we want to do in class. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? I really just want to go somewhere tropical. I'm not really sure exactly where, but I really want to go somewhere where I can lay on the beach and go into the water. Uh, what's something that most people don't know about you? I think most people don't know. Hmm. That I'm... I'd say that I'm tough. <laughs> like, I, I do pageants and I do these things that are stereoty stereotypically girly, but I, I also love um, participating in sports. I did powder puff last year, or actually this year at Foreign, and that was an experience. That was a lot of fun. A lot of people don't know that I participate in sports alongside with pageantry. Do you have anything else to add? Um, I just want to say it's my graduating year and I'm really excited to see where this whole path takes me. The past two weeks has been a whirlwind and I've already had so many opportunities so I'm really excited to see what's to come and I just want to say thank you for all of those that have helped me get to where I am. Thank you. Thank you.